So next I'd like to bring Shannon Fowler from the Center for Plant Conservation um, onto, I guess, our virtual stage and um, to talk about their applied plant conservation course. So yeah, hi Shannon. It would help if I muted myself. Good morning. <laughs> Let me see if I can get the screen share going. All looking good on your end? Yes. Okay, wonderful. Well, good morning, everybody. Um, my name is Shannon Fowler. I'm the Director of Communications and Public Programs with the Center for Plant Conservation. And I'm really thrilled to be part of um, the conference today to share a little bit about a new free online professional development training that CPC is in the process of creating, which is called the Applied Plant Conservation Course. So as a little bit of background for, for those who might not be familiar with the Center for Plant Conservation, um, we are celebrating our 40th anniversary year in 2024. We were founded in 1984 at the Arnold Arboretum um, at Harvard University. Um, and we're really a one of a kind network whose goal is to unite plant conservationists and practitioners from botanic gardens, um, arboreta, federal agencies, any plant focused organization to work collaboratively um, to save the imperiled plants of the United States, its territories, and Canada throughout their native range. So CPC's focus is really on um, North American plant species. We have a target list of 4,400 um, North American native plants that we are working to secure with our partners um, in conservation collections um, to safeguard them from extinction, but then also um, make use of that plant material in restoration efforts and, and other sorts of conservation activities. Um, and so our mission is to safeguard rare plants by advancing science-based conservation practices, connecting and empowering plant conservationists, and inspiring everyone to protect biodiversity. And so we're really focused on working with our wonderful network um, that is primarily um, based throughout the United States. We do have several institutional partners, um, but right now we're sitting at 75 partners um, that we work with to fulfill our mission. Um, we cover 29 states and territories, and we have 300 conservation officers working with those organizations that we collaborate with. And in working with this network, CPC really focuses on harnessing the expertise and knowledge that our partners have and serving as a hub to share that knowledge out with others. Um, and so that comes about in a lot of our free educational resources that we have hosted on CPC's website, um, sort of the, the main platform for which is what we call our Rare Plant Academy. So it's a place where folks interested in plant conservation, those working in plant conservation, can go to learn and share and discover from our collective plant conservation community. And this really, the, the heart of the Rare Plant Academy is what we call the CPC Best Practices Guidelines. Um, and so that is sort of a how-to um, repository of different best practice guidelines for conservation, including seed banking, alternatives to seed banking, restoration and reintroduction, rare plant genetics, and the list sort of goes on. But the Rare Plant Academy brings these best practices to life in, in several different ways, including um, through our video library, which has some great short form educational videos that we've created um, in collaboration with our partners. Um, we have um, those digital free best practice guidelines that you can access or download. Um, and we have a community forum where people can go to ask questions and um, connect with each other and, and really um, work together to try to solve our um, challenging or pressing plant conservation questions because, you know, CPC's ethos is really um, the more that we can work together, the more successful we'll be. And so that is um, at the heart of the work that we do with our network and the ways in which we 
try to gather and share out this knowledge and expertise. Um, and so the Rare Plant Academy was funded by, um, was largely funded by an IMLS grant, um, which wrapped up in 2022 that helped us really um, create this lovely user-friendly platform on our website. And as that uh, grant was sort of winding down, we were already thinking to what would sort of come next for the Rare Plant Academy and the type of offerings that the Center for Plant Conservation could provide to our community. And so the idea came about in 2021 to develop this online applied plant conservation course. Um, and the goal of it really is to serve as a professional development training for both the current and future botanical workforce um, in those best practices of rare plant stewardship and conservation. Um, we are really proud and grateful to be partnering with the Bureau of Land Management offices in California, Colorado, and Nevada to partially fund the creation of this course. And so with that, our target audience does include um, BLM staff, um, those who are working um, in land management at other agencies, plant conservationists, um, students who are sort of um, up and coming through university or those who are newly sort of emerging into their plant conservation career, um, and really anybody with who is working with or has an interest in rare and native plants at any stage of their career. Um, and so this course is... Um, kind of taking, uh, encompasses nine modules, overarching subjects that we are presenting in this course, including Introduction to Rare Plant Conservation, um, which Tom Kay uh, very graciously created lessons for. So thank you, Tom. Um, we have a section on ensuring the conservation of rare plant genetic diversity, um, where plants live um, now and in the future, Assessing wild plant populations, rare plant reintroductions, probably of most interest to this group, collecting seeds for conservation collections and seed banks, um, conservation of exceptional species, propagation and horticulture, and tools and partnerships. Um, when the course is still in development, modules one and two are currently live on CPC's website, and I'll share the links and, and information on how to access the course and enroll for free, um, but modules one and two are currently live on the site and we will be rolling out the subsequent modules, um, including the seed banking module um, throughout 2024, expecting uh, seed, seed collections to go live sometime in the spring. But through um, these modules, they're comprised of different lessons. We're partnering with the plant conservation experts in CPC's network to create and deliver the course. Um, when all is said and done, the course we expect to be around 72 hours of content. Participants can opt to take the entire course if they wish. They can also um, be selective and pick certain modules that they might be most interested in and just take those. Um, and again, the idea is that the course really will serve as a learning tool um, for people to advance their education and their knowledge in the field, and as a way for us to harness and showcase the knowledge of um, the wonderful people who are working within the CPC network um, and in the plant conservation community um, doing this wonderful work. And then I wanted to take a moment to dive in a little bit more into module six, our collecting seeds for conservation collections um, section. And you can see here the different overarching topics that will be covered within that module from um, planning a collection. So what you do before you even go out in the field to start collecting seed, um, best practices for collection day, um, cleaning orthodox seeds. So what happens once you've collected the seed and you go back to your site? Um, the importance of safety duplication, um, methods for storing seeds, um, germination trials, and um, ways to manage small collections. Um, in addition to those, those topics, we're really exploring the impacts of climate change as well um, on genetic diversity and the use of seeds for research and restoration purposes. 
And sort of to give you an idea of what to expect from the course, um, the bulk of it really comprised of video lectures where participants are learning from those experts in the field of plant conservation um, through, thank you for the reminder, through these online um, lectures. We're including some animated lessons, so a way to present case studies or dive in a little deeper to topics and present it in a different sort of format, recognizing that um, people learn and absorb information in different ways. We're integrating those Rare Plant Academy resources that I mentioned, um, linking to our best practices, to the short form educational videos in our existing video library, and we're encouraging participants to utilize the community forum to ask questions. We're also working with an education contractor to have knowledge checks, quizzes peppered in throughout the course to help reinforce what folks are learning. And we're creating a journal reflections um, document, which really serves as an independent study activity so that participants can um, think through what they're learning in the course and take notes and really think through how they would apply those concepts into their own day-to-day -day role. It's also a place for us to share resources that our content creators are um, using in their own lessons. Um, and then just a, a highlight um, for our 19 different um, organizational partners that we're working with to create the lessons for this course. Um, we're really grateful for their participation. And then just really quickly beyond the course. So um, as I mentioned, two of the first two modules of the course are live on our site. We'll be launching subsequent modules throughout 2024. Um, but we're also thinking through what else CPC can be doing to help expand our knowledge when it comes to our native seeds. And so in addition to the free online course, um, we have right now two IMLS funded um, grant studies, um, one focused on evaluating seed longevity and long-term storage, um, and a new one on um, seed bulking best practices and how seed bulking can influence rare plant genetics. And so those studies are underway with our network partners, and we anticipate sharing results in peer-reviewed literature and in the case of seed bulking by creating a new free online best practice guidelines with the real hope that um, this collective knowledge will um, you know, aid practitioners work and improve that XC2 uh, curation for imperiled plants for everybody. And then just some quick links I can share in my um, Whova session, just where to find those RPA resources, Rare Plant Academy resources on our website. Um, where to enroll for the online um, applied plant conservation course, and um, how to sign up for our newsletter so that you get updates when new course modules go live. And then that's me. If anybody has questions, I will check the, the Q&A um, if we're running out of time right now um, to answer any questions that you might have, or feel free to get in touch with me. Um, and I'll just end by saying thank you to all the work that you all do to help save our native plants. Thank you so much, Shannon. That was an amazing presentation. It looks like we have time for one question. Um, when is it anticipated that the entire course will be complete? Be complete, I would say by this fall, late fall 2024. Thank you. There are many questions. We will move them over to the question and answer box in Whova and here is Gwen to introduce our next speaker. Thank you again, Shannon. Thank you.